Shelbyville is a great place to visit, and one of those reasons is for Forest Park. Forest Park is located on the edge of Shelbyville, and it's an excellent place for activities year-round. There are a number of ball diamonds for baseball, softball, and also soccer. There's also an aquatic center with pools that has slides, diving boards, and even a sand play area for the kids. There's also a number of picnic areas and pavilions, and also the Dacey Trail that's adjacent to the park, which is on the outskirts of the park that stretches clear to the dam. Uh, we also have, in the wintertime, the Festival of Lights, and it's basically a Christmas display of Christmas lights that goes from the entrance of the park to the exit. Now, one of the central focuses or focal points of the park is the Chautauqua Auditorium. This structure was built in 1903. It was designed by an architect named Morrison Vale and was built for $7,500. The structure is a 20-sided wood structure with a radial truss design, which allows for no interior columns to interrupt the view of the stage from anywhere in the auditorium. If you think of a bicycle wheel turned on its side, the structure is very similar in that its center hub, or king post, and the wood and steel structural members that make up the spokes is very unique because of the radial truss design. It has a clear span of 150 feet. The original Chautauqua was intended as a cultural event geared towards education. There were a number of Chautauquas on the circuit that people would travel to to attend. Most of the time, they camped around the area where the Chautauqua was held. The Chita Shelbyville Chautauqua Auditorium has been used for a variety of events over the years, including speakers such as William Howard Taft, former president, William Jennings Bryan, Billy Sunday, and Carrie Nation. It's also been used for musical events uh, such as Barbara Mandrell, REO Speedwagon, and Dolly Parton. Uh, Allison Krauss even won a fiddling contest here. Uh, we also use the uh, auditorium for wedding ceremonies, plays, and many community events. As I mentioned before, we've had a number of national performers here in the Chautauqua Auditorium. And what you see here are signatures from different acts that have performed previously. Some of these go back to the early 1920s, and we even have the Chicago Ladies Sax Band from 1921. Ninety years later, we have a couple that signed the wall that just got married here in April, April 16th of 2011. The Chautauqua Auditorium is really the focal point of Forest Park. It served the Shelbyville community for over a hundred years. It's a really unique structure, not only with the design, but in the history of the building. I recommend that if you've never been inside the building that you plan to visit and see for yourself why the Chautauqua Auditorium is one of the great places to visit in Shelbyville.